My name is Dallas Dragovic, and welcome back to my Freedom Planet Let's Play. Wait, no, wrong! Hello, my name is Alistair Dragovic, and welcome back to my a Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Let's Play. When we last left off, we were in the middle of cross-examining Frank Solid, the real murderer, the one who's trying to frame Mr. Larry Butts. You know- Now, last episode, I did quite a lot of, um, you know, voicing the characters, but not a lot of my own commentary. Not to mention, my voicing of the characters was not doing too great. Because I kept having to switch between voices so quickly. So for this episode, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. I'll be doing my commentary in real time, but I'll be leaving a little bit of um, room in between to allow myself to edit in with some way my voice acting after the fact. That way, I can just focus on one character's voice at a time for each episode. And, well, hopefully that'll make things a bit more consistent. Plus, it'll allow me to focus more in the moment on commentary. Now, let's continue. Hey there, editor um, Alistair here. I was going to add in the voice work for this episode, but... I already knew that, vo that voice actors have to put in a lot of practice to get as good at their craft as they do. That said, it's also stupidly time-consuming. Hats off to every voice actor ever. There is a reason why it takes so long for them to do anything for um, shows and whatnot. If you even give a mo half a modicum of care, it's going to take forever. You'll be getting a quote-unquote voice-acted version of this, um, as a bonus episode sometime in the future. Until then, um, back to past me. Hmm. Actually, maybe I could do any depress instead. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, can you? Uh-huh. So you didn't go into the place. You just went into the entrance. Uh-huh. Oh boy. Actually, that's a good question. Hmm. First, I want to see if I can go back and... Okay, so I can do that. Okay, okay. That is a good question. Hmm, doesn't have a cell phone. So there was nobody home at all. N n no housewives or anything. <laughs> Here we go. Now, how could the time be 1 o'clock if she died between 4 and 5 p.m.?
<laughs> nice work, Play Phoenix. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on, that is not Trillion. You know it, Pang. This, this this guy entire case you throw it out right here but. he's got a point and or if you come up with one lie then anything that the lie contradicts um has to be covered up and well if you're already lying, Here we go. Wow, I don't even need to press that hard for this one. Mm -hmm. I should hope Phoenix has got this one. Because this one should be just pretty obvious to anybody who's paying attention. But I'm going to press it just to make it smart. Oh wow, he, he said he had a watch on it. Wow, okay. Yes, yes it is. He's got a point. That is... That is some terrible reasoning pain, and you know it. Oh my god, what? Not... Not scientifically possible! And I present the reason why. <laughs> Are you way out of this one, Pang? Way to dig your own hole. <laughs> did this is where did you pay? <laughs> wow. Oh, 
Oh, gee, I, I wonder why you find it puzzling. <laughs> You remember now. I say more than a harming. Let's see how this guy perjures himself this time. Because, you know, this is all what he's doing is perjury. Wait, no, come on. Please? Okay. What? Oh boy. <sighs> this is, uh, hmm. Yeah, let me just go ahead and make him see. That's probably going to need to be logged into evidence. Huh. We're presenting the statue? It's just a statue, right? Well, let's see here. Yeah, I would! <laughs> Here we are! The iconic music! A defense hitter! Mr. Payne should lose his job, because wow, that is a huge oversight. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I think I did. Exactly. Yeah. Man, the, the amount of perjuries um, done by the um, witness, quote unquote, is an astronomical. There should really be a counter for that. I might do that for the next um, case.
we can't say for sure the guy knew the victim. But went into the apartment? Heck yeah. Oh my god, are you serious? Got him this time. And now we have it. No kidding. Oh, yeah, that, that would fuck anybody up, wouldn't it? It really isn't? <laughs> oh boy! Wow, R real mature uh, comeback there, saw it. Careful now, saw it. You may just get the penalty you're asking butts to get. I bet you want a moment. Uh oh. Try sounding the clock. Okay. That's a good question. Huh. How conveniently off that is. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Disapprove nothing. Okay, that is pretty bizarre.
चासी का Careful now, you're insulting your own lawyer. You still have him, Phoenix. Come on! <laughs> Mia! Good advice in general. <laughs> right, right. Oh, I can. But it's a bit of a misphrased question. I'll admit, the, uh, the, um, murderer does have some gumption there. Police may his fate was sealed the moment the passport was put into evidence. But you see, I'm about to solve this case with the power of time zones! Exactly. <laughs> he used his own dumb name against him. Way to go, right? Here we go. <laughs> the end of the case freak out is always a, a gas. <laughs> Wow! I almost feel sorry for Mr. Payne. You know, this is true. There's a um, heck of a lot that goes on in any sort of court procedural. And considering that he only had a... Um, that he managed to do it with just a few pieces of evidence. Like, let's take a look. Not including the attorney's badge, there was only four pieces of evidence. 
and his and he managed to completely dismantle the case in like an hour and a in like an hour with with that much. Now that is a real hat trick. Something worthy of people like Perry Mason. <laughs> Only a formality. Ha <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Butts and Phoenix Wright. And with that court adjournment, I'll end the episode. Next time, we'll wrap up what's left of the first case and move on to case two. My name is Alistair Dragovic, and I hope I'll see you all then. Take care, everyone.